My name is Ellie Dupler. I have been focusing on national security and human rights and the intersection between those two. I spent my first summer in college doing global health work in Ghana. I started talking to some law students about careers in human rights law, and that was something that I had never heard of before going to college and ended up looking for schools with great human rights programs, human rights clinics. Columbia really stood out for the Human Rights Institute and the Human Rights Clinic. Every organization that I thought about working at, I saw that there was the Columbia grad working there. When I got to Columbia, I started exploring areas of public interest law, sort of seeing how rights played out across the system domestically and internationally. I had the opportunity to go with another student to Beirut, Lebanon, to attend a conference called the Yemen Exchange. And it was a group of Yemenis who were educating a group of Western journalists, activists, government officials on the way that the war has affected Yemen's economy, its political groups, its culture. It was an extremely educational experience just as I was beginning a whole year with the Human Rights Clinic because it really informed a lot of the work that I've done since then. One of my interests is finding a way that human rights and national security can benefit one another rather than butting up against each other. I've been very fortunate in law school to have some incredible professors who really cared about helping me develop my voice as a lawyer. I had the opportunity to take trial practice with Professor Heatherly. She forces us every week to get up in front of the class, you know, whether that's delivering an opening statement or doing a cross-examination. I think the professors have just been so invested in our development and us coming out as the lawyers that we want to be. In the short term, immediately after graduation, I'll be clerking in the Central District of California for a judge in Santa Ana. I had planned on moving to California in August, but at this point, the judge's clerks are actually working from their homes. They're no longer even holding hearings or holding trials. So I hope that things are looking better by August, but there's definitely a chance that my clerkship won't look the way that I thought it would look, but that's okay. I've had some really incredible experiences with moot court that have hopefully prepared me well to actually be in a courtroom and to be doing advocacy on behalf of a client. Post clerkship, I look forward to practicing and living that experience, but for real this time.